Hello everyone, this is a demo of T-Log, a terminal recording program that we implement at Red Hat in Identity Management Group. T-Log is set up as the login shell for a user on this VM here. You can see its path in the last field. On the same host, rsyslog is set up to forward T-Log messages from journal D to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is running on the same host along with Kibana. This is how rsyslog configuration looks. There aren't many changes necessary to set this up. I'll show only them. So this is the increased message size that is required to pass big T-log messages. Uh, this is also an Elasticsearch module which forwards messages to Elasticsearch. Next, there is a template that formats uh, T-log messages for Elasticsearch com consumption. Uh, basically, it cuts off syslog stuff and adds some JSON formatting. Next are rules for forwarding T-log messages to Elasticsearch using the OM Elasticsearch module. And then also copying it to a log file on the local system for debugging and then discarding them. And this is it for RCS log configuration. So what I'm going to show right now is login as the recorded user and simultaneous playback of the user's session. We are going to log on to the VM, check out the session ID and then start the playback. Session ID is 121 and I'm starting to playback. Now the playback will follow whatever I do as the recorded user with a little delay because this, the playback was started later and also because T-Log waits a little to gather a few a bit more output so it doesn't send too many messages and also because Elasticsearch takes a while to index the message but it's only a short while. So now we can try some comments here. A failed sudo attempt and some simple command Now we can take a look at Kibana and see what kind of messages we got into Elasticsearch. Here we can search for the session number and see the messages that T-Log created. This was the first message showing the window size. Here, here, and the following messages are data. This is output. And this is input. Then there are some more messages with the output and the, and the input, which we can see. Here is the sudo command and some more commands and the output. Now 
Now we can try playing back some interactive editing. Next, I'll show you how playback at the, at the moment is not very smooth. This is because uh, Elasticsearch doesn't provide very good facilities for streaming documents. And uh, the, the current very simple T-Log implementation basically does uh, polling with uh, a few documents per HTTP request. So the window on the left will be outputting a steady stream of text and the window on the right will be outputting not so steady stream of text. You can notice that there was a bit of delay perhaps due to Elasticsearch indexing new messages. So you can notice that there are some hiccups in the output of the recording. We can definitely work on that and eventually it will be as smooth as possible. Now I can show you how T-Log handles random data. I'll just output some garbage from dev u random. It should the playback should survive that. Yep, everything's fine. And next, uh, we are going to try to locate some text in the recorded messages in Elasticsearch. Here I tried to search for, for sudo in this session and we can see that it was here. can also try finding random for example. And so this is the end of this demo.